So in my PhD project, I'm interested in um, attention like um, processes and animals, uh, specifically in Drosophila. So I'm looking at um, tracking behaviors and like object object oriented um, tracking in Drosophila and um, how it works behaviorally, but also later in the brain, basically. So in my PhD, I look at how kids make really basic decisions and kind of reflect upon those decisions. And in developmental context, there are a lot of constraints on the data that we have. It's really uh, difficult to get a kid to sort of sit through a couple of trials. Uh, and so we don't have a lot of the kind of computational aspects that are really common in uh, the neuroscience labs like here. And so looking at kind of from um, both mathematical and theoretical perspectives, how we can kind of apply those kinds of uh, both practical sort of insights, but also what we can sort of take from these kinds of computational angles to answer questions that are uh, particularly interesting and important in developmental psychology. It has evolved a lot. Uh, I mean, the first edition was basically improvising all the time, like setting up the material like the day before or the morning before we actually did it, uh, because we had to bring, start, build from scratch everything. And, and we were lucky because we, we asked for a lot of feedback after each edition. And this feedback has really helped us reshape uh, the curriculum year after year. And after, I would say, the third year, we kind of converged on a formula that seemed to work well. Uh, and so now, uh, year after year, it's, I would think everything is a bit more settled and we are more clear about the what we can achieve uh, about the audience while maintaining the fun part of it, which has been a, a constant. Part of this uh, evolution of BUMP is also uh, kind of the people behind it. So that's, uh, of course, Alex and me. Uh, together with Chris Summerfield, we have uh, started this. But after now the fifth edition, we really have uh, an international team of organizers and teaching assistants actually together uh, design all the course program. So it's really an international effort and a, uh, and a team that has grown over the years that, that stands behind BUMP. And so what, what is actually also remarkable in, in, a, in the effort that we had over the years is that some people started uh, actually as uh, students, as participants in the first edition, and then more, over the time uh, came again uh, back to our school as teaching assistants and finally formed part of the organization team. I think there's a lot of, of students with a uh, background in psychology or biology uh, which maybe lack the formal training to kind of directly you know learn by themselves these techniques and maybe also they're a bit afraid because you're a bit afraid of the mathematics somehow so so the idea is really to bring them together to show them that they actually can perform a lot of stuff uh, yeah, we are here, we're leveraging the fact that now there's a lot of, of packages and code that's available to run like a wealth of different analysis that are already available. So you don't need to be a brilliant mathemati mathematician to do it, uh, but you need to understand the concepts. And that's what we teach them with the idea that then they can be autonomous when they go back to the lab and actually uh, use these techniques on their, uh, their own data, the data that they collect in their home lab. During the summer school, I kind of got a nice overview of what kind of models could be interesting um, to use on my own data. And then I also talked to Alex and Klaus um, during the summer school a bit about what kind of model we could use to answer questions I have on, on my data. And in general, the summer school also gave me like an overview of um, not only models, but also what modeling entails. Yeah, as quite a late stage PhD student, I'm looking to see uh, sort of options for where I can continue my research as a postdoc. Uh, and I got to talk to both Alex and Klaus and also other senior researchers at BAM. Uh, and I've been lucky to sort of get to continue those conversations uh, and look at sort of different options, as well as go and visit some of those uh, researchers as well during my stay here. It was also cool, that, cool to see that people from different backgrounds are still interested in like the same bigger questions or like broader questions. Um, across other like different model organisms. The opportunity to come at questions that were really similar but from really, really different backgrounds and perspectives was something that you can only kind of get at when you're working across disciplines and when you're having the opportunity to talk to people who have such different backgrounds. Yeah, the diversity is uh, actually very beautiful and I would say that's one of the main reasons I ended up in the, in the field of, of computational neuroscience because it brings together people 
with bi ground in biology, psychology, philosophers, uh, economists, mathematicians, physicists, computer scientists. In the summer school, you really see how uh, the skills from everyone, kind of everyone puts together their own skills. So some people are very proficient at coding and they will help their neighbors, which maybe are not so good in Python. Uh, some people know a lot about experimental details and then they will also teach uh, the person who know a lot about maths but not so much about how you collect the data about what happens actually in the experimental data and something which you maybe you just cannot learn by just reading the papers. Yeah, one very important uh, thing where also this diversity of the, of the students really uh, is a benefit for everyone uh, is in our group projects. So a big part of the school is actually doing hands-on research and working on con concrete real-world data sets, either from the student's home lab or also from some publicly available data that we have carefully selected. And so what students do, they work in small teams of uh, three people and every, every team is really composed of people with a different background and they try to you know, conduct a full uh, data analysis modeling project uh, during the school that they present then uh, in the end to their peers and discuss further steps and so on. So during my stay uh, at the CRM, uh, Alex, Klaus and me were uh, only working on purely behavioral data. So we were looking at how the male fly tracks the female fly and we were trying to infer internal states of the male during this tracking behavior. I split my time here, so in the first half of my time, uh, we looked at how we can kind of adjust behavioral um, models to sort of account for the data that I already had in my project. Uh, but I also got to spend a lot of time sort of talking to them from a theoretical perspective uh, and sort of extending my understanding for sort of future projects that I'm hoping to run. Having this opportunity to bring uh, two participants at the summer school to, for a longer stay here at the CRM uh, was really fantastic because we learned a lot of things about what they do or their research, which is so different from what we do. So one uh, is studying uh, reasoning in, in uh, children, and the other one is looking at attentional mechanisms uh, in flies, so very something very diverse. And it was really nice to see that the techniques uh, that uh, we've trained during the school can be applied to such diverse research questions. Uh, so we've learned about the various of questions and, and uh, having them for a longer stay and able to really build deeper connections uh, with, with what uh, they're doing. Yeah, it was also really an extremely nice experience for both of us. So we were super enthusiastic with these new projects. Uh, also that this time frame that it's not just you know, a few days that people can work on this project, but uh, for a longer time allows, of course, uh, to dig deeper and to do uh, more, more evolved analysis and uh, with really super exciting new data sets. Um, so I think we had lots of fun. It was also really a benefit for our research group to bring in uh, two new people that were extremely active uh, participating in all our other scientific events and really bringing, giving something back to us. It's not uh, like a, a one way that we are teaching, but it's really an enrichment for everyone. And Josephine and Kate uh, were really two exceptional uh, people. So it was lots of fun working with them. Uh, we really enjoyed it a lot. I think it's super important. Um, and many PhD programs also offer like rotations. And I think um, like rotations or lab visits are super valuable for like not only to get to know people who are interested in similar or different things, but also to um, kind of get to know lab cultures and um, workflows in, for example, a more computational um, field. I think it's really important for a couple of reasons. So coming from Australia, uh, we can be quite a geographically isolated research community. And so even just being able to come over for this period uh, and visit during my stay here, also some researchers in Paris is just really important for making sure that you're influenced by uh, a diverse range of researchers. And I think that's both on the personal level where uh, you sort of learn what kind of research you are outside of your lab and outside of your supervisor, and also what kind of labs you're interested in, what kind of supervisory relationships you want and are sort of important to you, uh, but also from a research perspective to be able to sort of uh, work across those different areas and sort of integrate all of that into the way that you approach questions and answering questions I think is super important. Key for the success of BUMP is really that uh, we have a very good uh, 
collaborative spirit. People come here, they have to learn a lot. It's very intense. So people uh, really spend long hours working on their project. Um, we also uh, do work on Saturday. But then there's also a lot of uh, social activities. So we do uh, a welcome event. Uh, we, we go to the beach and one day off. So really people feel uh, very welcome. We have joint lunches, dinners. It's really about, not only about the scientific content, but really creating a community. Each edition, we've tried to include some people that come from underrepresented uh, areas. Uh, we've had people from Nepal, from India, and from a lot of other countries. And, and it's been beautiful to see that uh, they somehow can feel isolated with uh, at, at their home lab, but then they arrive and they meet people from a bit all over the world, and they feel that they can belong to this community. Some actually may also pursue their career uh, in, in other institutions outside of their of their countries. Um, so we really try to bring uh, help build uh, this worldwide community of researchers.